Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have learned about the concepts in the HTML that is HTML element, HTML tag, HTML content, attributes, boolean attributes. So these are all the concepts or terminologies or technical terms in the HTML we have learned it. Now it's time for us to take a look at a HTML document structure. Now learning the elements and all those things are not sufficient. Now we need to understand about the HTML document. So how we will be writing the HTML document. Let's try to see in this video. Now this is the HTML document structure. Individual HTML elements aren't very useful on their own. So up to now we have learned about the individual HTML elements. How the element look like and how the element full form will be. And empty elements, nesting elements and these are all the concepts we have learned. And we have to combine these are all, these are all concepts to make the HTML document. Now we need to understand this one. Individual HTML elements aren't very useful on their own. Next, let's examine how individual elements combine to form an entire HTML page. So now we need to understand, combine all the individual elements what we have learned to form the enti entire HTML page. Now the sample HTML page will look like something like this. The first one will be doc type of HTML and the second one will be the HTML tag. So in this you will be having two elements that is nothing but a head and the two children. Head and the body. Inside this head you will be having multiple elements. And inside this body you will be having the p tag, p element and div element and all those elements you will be having. So this is the normal structure of the HTML page. Now let's try to see one by one. Let's decode one by one line what it ex exactly consists of. Now doc type of HTML. We have seen about this doc type of HTML right the doc type it is called as a doc type that means document type when html was young that means when html was in the early 1990s doc types were meant to act as links to a set of rules that the html page has to follow to be considered as a good html so that means the doc types why we why we add this doc type at the top means so to act as a link to a set of rules. Now if you are trying to write an HTML page, it needs to follow some certain set of rules and regulations in order to be in order to be a good HTML page. So with those set of rules and regulations, so we need to add the link at the top, doc type dot HTML. So doc types used to look something like this. These doc types in the olden days, in the yell in the earlier 1990s, will look something like this at the bottom. Doc type HTML public and the link to the set of rules and regulations transitional dot dtd that is document type definition so how the document should you look like and what are the things we need to write in the html document and all those things rules and regulations will be existing in this w3c.org okay w3.org world web standards so for in, for for making this html so because of this reason the doc type html will be used at the top of the html page Most recently, the doc type is an historical artifact that needs to be included for everything else to work right. So this has become mandatory or something like that. It has become something like a, a custom to us to add this doc type HTML at the top to include that everything else is working right or not. Doc type HTML is the shortest string of characters that consists a value as a valid doc type. That is all we need to know. So this is the shorthand notation we are writing. So there is no need to add this. Uh, link and all w3.org these are all links there is no need to write this one so this has become like this doc type html is a shorthand notation second one is an html so if you try to see the second one it is an html the html element this element wraps all the content on the page it is sometimes known as the root element if you try to see here so this is the first element we are able to see the html element this html is nothing but the root of the element head head element so now here you are able to see about the head here this is the head tag and in this head you are having meta title and all those things you are having so what is this head actually the head element this element this element acts as a container for everything you want to include on the html page that isn't the content the page will show to the viewers so whatever the elements you are writing in this head so it will act as a container not the content and the containers whatever the things you are writing in the head in between the head elements this will not be visible in the page okay so this includes something like keywords page description that would appear in the search results 
so these key elements like keywords page description these are all the metadata so that would appear in the search results only or css to style the content and also the css to style the content character set declarations and more so this is where the head head element is useful and the last and the another one is so you have used the meta care set is equal to utf8 now let's try to open this one visual studio code i will try to show you and if you try to see our project document html structure here we have seen about this document type html and here we have written the html element and inside this html element we are having the head element and the body element right so in this head element we are able to see the first one is a meta care set is equal to utf8 so what is the meaning of this meta care set is equal to utf8 let's try to see here so if you try to open this one so if you try to open it here meta care set is equal to utf8 the care set the care set attributes sets the character set for your document to utf8 so whatever the characters you are writing and the attributes you are writing in the document it will be set to utf8 which includes most characters from the vast majority of the human written languages so uh, not only the english so whatever the human written languages is there other languages are there like spanish french and uh, other languages germany and all those things is there right so these all things will be supported in your html document if you set the character set to utf8 with this setting the page can now handle any textual content it might contain okay so it will it will support all the textual content that it has there is no reason not to set this but it can help avoid some problems later okay so this is the use of character set whenever you mention the character set as utf8 in your html document now the html document will be able to handle all the human written languages like what are the popular languages not only really popular languages all the languages available in the world so those all languages will be supported in your html okay this is the uh, reason for using this meta care set is equal to utf8 in the head element and the another element what we will be using in the head element is title element this title is nothing but this sets the title of the page which is the title that appears in the browser tab the page is loaded in the page title is also used to describe the page when it is book bookmark so whenever you are trying to bookmark your your favorite website so this title tag will be saved with the title okay and this title element why we use it is in order to appear in the search results and also in the browser tab at the top of the browser tab if you try to observe so if i try to remove this one here you will be able to see at the bro at the top of this one right untitled presentation google spreadsheet so this is the title tag that has been written in the head, head uh, title element so whatever the date content you will be writing in the title element so that will be reflected in the browser tab or the search results search results means google search results this is the usage for the title and last one is the body tag so this body tag means this is the body element this contains all the content that displays on the page whatever the content you want to display on the page so that will be nothing but a body element so this includes the text text means the paragraph div and all those things images img tag videos videos tag games playable audio tracks or whatever else so whatever the content or whatever the data you want to show it to the show it in the web page so you will need to write it in the body tag so this is all about the html structure if you try to see this is all about the html structure and these all other metadata and all those things you'll try to discuss so lot of metadata will be there we'll discuss in the next thing so this is all about the major html document structure so first one is the document type html and the root element is the html and here we are trying to say that language is called em en means what exactly this html document language is okay so it will support all the languages but exactly what is the language preferred language for this one is english en and here we we have written here to support all the languages and here we are having the metadata and the title tag this will be appeared in the browser tag and browser tab sorry and this is the body element in this we are having all the elements that are available to show it in the html content so this is all about the html document structure hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you